Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know about this site that could help you out with JavaScript and understanding it because watching me code and copying my code isn't really going to teach you anything. It's going to show you how Steam bots work, but it's not going to teach you the language. So I haven't been paid or anything by this site, but it's really useful. It teaches you almost every language, and I don't know if you. I'm currently taking this basic JavaScript course as well. I knew most of this stuff at the beginning, but I'm going to start working on these as well. So we'll be able to progress a lot quicker and more easily in our series. But they have almost every language. You guys should definitely check this site out. It's called Free Code Camp, and I'll have it linked in the description. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Alright guys, what is going on? GT2King here, back today with the third episode of how to make a Steam bot. And today we're going to be focusing on trade offers. And accepting any offers that we're not giving anything to the other person so just like donations to us basically and accepting items from an admin account or an owner so what we're gonna start off with is basically in our config file we want to make a new um, thing called identity secret like instead of shared secret there's identity secret as well and an owner ID so just like your steam ID 64 which is something that looks like this so we're gonna pull this to the other tab all you have to do is just log in and do that so that's ready and now what we want to do is call some new modules so the new modules are called constant steam oh it's capital it's steam community and it requires steam community We'll put a colon there and another one which is trade offer manager and we need to require whoops trade oh no it's steam trade offer man steam trade offer manager so what the first one does is that it logs into the steam community which is where our offers are stored and the second one works with the offer so that's pretty cool now what we want to do is call steam community and it's basically just a new steam community user basically and we also want to do the same for trade offer manager but it's gonna be a bit different a new trade offer manager but in it we're gonna have some different values which are steam which is defining the steam client which we have defined as client down here so we're gonna have to put it under um, we're going to define community as just community, or it's called community. And the last one is the language. So I personally have English, so it's just EN. I don't know what you guys use, but we're going to put a colon there as well. And we're actually going to put this under because these are called before. So let's just make this a bit neater, and that looks perfect. So now what we want to do is get a web session whenever we log on so it could log on to the steam community and the website so we're gonna do client which is our steam client on when it asks for web session we're just going to call session ID did I spell it right yep and we're gonna request some cookies so those are gonna help for like the identity secret and stuff so we're just going to do that, that, and we're going to set the cookies for the trade offer manager. So set cookies, which cookies, the cookies that we defined up here. And I'll put a colon there. And we're also going to set cookies for Steam community. So the cookies there. And last but not least, we want to start the confirmation checker, which basically pulls for mobile confirmations. So the now what we want to type is the duration or the poll time how often we want to pull and it's in milliseconds so 10,000 would be 10 seconds but I'm just gonna put it at 20,000 for now put a comma and we have to define our identity secret now so we put that in config dot identity secret and that should be good for now and now every 20 seconds it will pull for mobile confirmations now what we want to do it will let's see if it logs on actually so let's go to our tutorial bot and we want to just open a command window and we want to install these new modules which are npm install steam community 
and npm install steam trade offer manager so while we wait for these to download we're actually gonna proceed and create two different functions which are accept and decline offer so we're gonna start with accept offer which offer it's gonna be the offer that we define in a bit but what we want this function to do is offer dot accept and we're also gonna check for errors so if there's an error it will log it basically and we want to just did I do that right no so we want to put one of those and if there is an error which is just like this we want to console dot log there was an error and we'll just do that and that's what the accept offer is gonna look like and we're just gonna copy and oh, let's put a colon there as well and we're gonna do a decline offer function as well before we move on so we're just gonna do decline and we'll do offer dot decline and it will just say declining the offer and we'll do accepting the offer so now it should be ready and let's start up the bot and see how it goes so we're just gonna open tutorial bot run bot bat and let's see what it does steam guard app code so I'm guessing I didn't put the right um, what's it called shared secret for my bot or we have to do client dot prompt steam guard code I believe it is steam guard code false I think that's the right code so let's try and run it and see what happens okay it's not a function so we'll have to find that function let me get it on my other monitor and I'll be back in just a sec Okay, so we just tested the spot to see if it worked on my own time and we found two different things we need to change. One is it's actually called start confirmation checker if you want to start the confirmations up otherwise it'll just crash. And if you don't want it to prompt a steam guard code when you log on, you just do client.set option prompt steam guard code and false. So by now you should have installed the two modules which are steam trade offer manager and steam community. So now what we want to do is, t oh my god, who is that? Let me just ignore block for now. And what we want to do is manager dot on, which means if so a new offer, which is the thing we're going to be calling. So when something, when a new offer is sent to the trade offer manager, I guess it didn't even block him. So we'll have to remove this guy. But anyways, manager dot on new offer. We want to call offer and equal that. So every oh this is wrapped in quotes. My bad. And every new offer that's an extra quote. Uh, okay, so when it gets a new offer, it's gonna get that specific offer. And on that specific honor offer, we want to check if the offer partner dot get steam id 64 which is going to be the in the sender's id so that's the id we sent in the or we set in the config if it's equal to config dot owner id which was the id that we set we want to call another thing which is the function that we made which is accept offer and it's going to be just accept offer which offer this specific offer and now what we want to do is go and make an else statement so if it's not sent by the owner so we just want to type okay so we need to wrap this up no we don't do we config owner if this so where does the if end Okay, it ends right here. No, it doesn't. I was right. So we put it else. We want to do offer or, yeah, decline offer 
which was the function that declines it, which offer this specific offer. So that's that. I believe it's function or er, set perfectly. And yeah, that's perfect. It's syntax and everything. So this should basically decline if it's not the owner. So that's the basic bot. Let's run it and see what it does. Sorry if I'm just like blacking out on some parts on syntax and stuff. It's not my best field. So this is the bot we have. It doesn't have anything in it. It's a really old account. So let's just send a random item so it can, we can make it accept it. And I think we actually have to accept it as well. So we have to open our SDA, which we'll just leave and we'll put it right there. So that's going to accept it in just a sec. I think it should. So it's going to be sent to the bot. And let me check my inventory history to see if it's sent it or just sent trade offers. So it's still waiting mobile confirmation. We're just waiting for Steam Desktop Auth. And while this does it, we can actually add some console commands or some more information. So we're going to open Sublime and we're going to say console.log we declined an offer and we're going to do the same thing for function accept offer so we're just going to smack that in we accept it i don't think this works but we're going to try it anyways so we'll just terminate that one and restart it so we're going to go run bot here's the console successfully logged on so i think it works actually so we're gonna ask for our card back but we're gonna send one as well just so we could test another feature after as well so if it accepts it it means it confirmed the mobile as well so that's a good thing and we're just gonna see if it does it so let me send that offer confirm it on my phone okay it's been sent that's not good Okay, so it said we accepted an offer, and as you can see, the bot accepted this one. And I'm guessing it's going to accept this. I don't know what that error was. Okay, we don't care about that. And theoretically, oh, I know why it's not accepting this, because we haven't told it to check the confirmations every time it sends an offer. So we're going to do that, and we're going to wrap up the video. So every time an offer is supposed to be accepted, we want to check confirmations, which is a Steam community function, and we're just going to call that. So now every offer we send should work, otherwise it'll decline it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And one thing that we're going to do, or we'll do that after or later, I don't know. But let's start up the bot and see if it accepts the offer. So. It should actually accept this offer because it accepted this one before. And as you can see, yeah, it accepted it. I don't, I think that was from before because it started the confirmation check. So we're gonna start up a new one. And just so you guys know, I'll have my code and everything in the description below. So we're gonna ask for their item as well to see if it confirms mobile. So let's refresh, send offer, perfect. So we're gonna see what this bot does we accepted an offer so that was almost instant now we just need to wait for the confirmation oh we got the item already so as you can see that was really fast because we called the confirmations right when it accepts the offer so that's pretty cool let's do something now that let me just edit or let me put my config over here and we're just gonna change the number of our Steam ID, just to like a random number to see if it'll decline it. So it should be good now. Let's close that and run bot. So I just changed a random number in my Steam ID 64. So yeah, it's probably gonna decline it because it's not equal to config.owner ID. So let's just double check if that's the case. And let's ask for one of their items make offer success and it crashed oh no oh it did decline offer is not defined all right so let's see what happened there decline offer it's right there 
function. Oh, that's why. We mistyped it. It's decline, not deline. <laughs> so we're going to run the bot up for the last time, hopefully. And it should be working theoretically. So, yeah, just some of those syntax errors could get you sometimes. So you want to look out for those. And this tutorial is actually pretty long right now. So we're going to try and wrap this up. And it said we declined an offer twice, which isn't... I don't know why. Oh, because we sent the offer from before. But yeah, that was the episode for today. Next time, I don't know what we're going to be looking into. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I'll see if I could do it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And make sure to check out that site that helps you understand Node a bit better. So that was it for today, guys. And peace.